Alright, what is up you guys, and of course always welcome back to another OU battle, which is truly the Scarander. And today we're going up against my coon, which is besides a cat, a Coco, actually. So it's not a cat. <laughs> but yeah, a Reddit player, and uh, this is going to be specifically OU, so we really hope that breaks through. Besides that, I had a lot of fun with this team. While some games ended a bit short either on my opponent's end or my end it's been fun and I really hope that this game is a bit longer than the ones that preceded it because quite frankly the combination of Beatic and Polybrath and Rain has really stirred things up and I say that fullingly knowing that um, Rillaboom is going rampant I don't see Rillaboom as often however and um, but you hate to see it when you run Rain teams you hate to see Rillaboom because that grassy glide what were they thinking? <laughs> Ruins everything. Uh, so let's see, my opponent brings... Kind of a cool team, actually. Uh, I like this. I like this a lot. That said, there are, there are no like clean cuts of Pokemon that work. If anything, I feel I'm heavily pressured by Ninetales and Lapras alone. As... Um, I don't have any real means of breaking them, and um, ooh, ooh, it's the right word to use, really. I'm actually gonna start off with Honey Pie, as it is my speediest Pokemon, and it's quite ferocious. If anything, it struggles versus Dragapult, I feel, and um, it will allow Ninetales to set up potential Veil and spam Blizzard. Um, or freeze dry that is so it's it's not an ideal lead now that I think of it this depending on what he actually decides to lead off with or she decides to bring off with it's, it's not that um, it could be a female let's see it's Raichu great positive note by Raichu it in theory can't do anything towards me besides knockoff so what I can do is steal that thunder because her Pokemon are we have no immunity in uh, fly move besides the right shoe. So nasty plot. Awesome. Then again, still surf maybe. That could be a thing. Come on. Fall for the bait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here we go! Here we go! Now I can potentially flinch. Now the question is if she goes for Surf here, if I don't knock her out. Which I do. Which I do, because I crit, because hacks are so great, and we all love them. They're so fair to everybody. Um, the superior pick a clone clearly won. Um, <laughs> Mock is an absolute beast. Now, like I said, the question is whether or not she carried Surf or Focus Blast, but it is such a common mistake that people attack Emolga with an electric move not knowing about the motor drive, and I love every second of it. Let's see, here it comes. Yeah, Japanese name. <laughs> so, the way I see it, I have two ways of parrying this. I don't want to deal with Veil, and um, yeah, I don't want to deal with Veil. If she goes for Freeze, right, she is just that good. <laughs> but more likely, I feel Aurora Veil, um, and I, like I said, I need to stop it. If she goes for Freeze, right, and it's it's hypnosis. It's bad, but it's not like the worst thing that ever happened to me. Um, as said, Blizzard is a thing. Moonblast can also be a thing. Actually, everything can be a thing, the more you think of it. Um, I can send you Mr. Chemical and I can get a free strange steam off. Steam. So Hypnosis was phenomenal. That was absolutely not annoying. The accuracy on that is so high. Uh, let's see, here comes a freeze dry. It's gonna still do a whole lot. Oh, this is one of those games. Um, <laughs> okay, 
Luckily, we do have Fire Blast and we will break through. But, um... Oh, that's frustrating. Sonic Shock. We will, st we will stomach that fine. I think Freeze Strike is overall better. Wait, don't Fire Blast break? I, I guess not. What? Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's gonna fall. I guess it doesn't. Ooh, come on, wheezing. Ah, oh, this is awful. This is really awful. Can I switch anything to Sonic Shock? I mean, no, of course not. Um, this is this is like the worst. All right, let's see. I don't believe we have like a lot more turns of rain at all. Like it should be basically ending now. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Um, so I guess. I mean, close combat shouldn't kill. But Stone Edge could. And at this point, I cannot take anything to kind of get that roll going. Um, I think Toxapex could be a switching. Uh, does decide to stay in. Is it sashed? No, but it absolutely took it. <laughs> Here comes the Moonblast. Oh lord. Yowch. Somehow we kind of took that hit though. Um, now the question is... Slapped it on stomach. I kind of don't want to sack this Pokemon at all. So... I think it's very, 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 very extremely likely that um, Toxapex comes in, so um, we're gonna do display. Let's see what happens. It does decide to sack play, which is both phenomenal and scary at the same time. Um, she'll easily follow that up with um, with a freeze dry, and we should be able to summon that fine. The issue I have with um, Beta is I can't hit uh, at all, really, Toxapex. Let's see, we take that fine, and we're gonna get a free turn here to go for a Sword Stance. And then it's all about Icicle Crash, really. Now I wonder what she's thinking. Because, like I said, there's no way she can reset. Keep Moonblasting, there you go. That will do a whole lot more. And special attack fell. Going for a secure Aqua Jet here. She clearly is sacking it after all. So, uh, in rather than the risk, the accuracy and the potency of um, of the marvelous move that is uh, Isle Crash. Because versus Toxtricity, I kinda... I just wanna pressure it and get as much damage in there as possible with Beatic. Because everything else I think Beatic beats at plus two for sure. Let's see, Pika, no Pico, Pikusu. <sighs> yeah, because I really don't wanna... At least get one like fair hit in. Plus, I get give I can get flinch, which will be awesome if that happens. Oh, we don't do anything. But we get the flinch, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, the rain is is absolutely over. And there's the black sludge. Um, right, we do like this. Sending in honey pie. That flinch helped a whole lot. It didn't do anything for me. Oh, there we go. Toxic is kind of up there. You don't see that. You see painful bunker usually. But 
Let's see. I do believe I force a switch here. And basically with Regenerator, I think she is fine. Come on, come on, come on. This is one of the few times I really wish I had a Belladron variant of Polyrath. So obvious play is obvious, and here comes Godzilla. Which makes sense. Not Godzilla, but the switching. Oh wow, that's yeah, the, another crit. <laughs> Damn. Can't deny it. Feel a bit dirty. Feel a bit dirty. Um, so we're gonna go for choice scoff and knockoff. This is also theoretically a sack play because without earthquake, I do believe. Um, unfortunately, that. Um, Whack! <sighs> Can I do anything to stop? Uh, there was a salad berry on that, that dragapult. Uh, did she have injury? Is a bigger question. But by the way, I think now Emolga looks stronger than ever. Here comes Togekiss, which is awesome. Um. Because I have the easiest switching in my life. Since I'm toxic, or I can't get paralyzed anyway, I was gonna say, then I can avoid getting paralyzed. Um, but yeah, I really hope for a Thunder Wave, but more likely to absolutely go for a Max Airstream. You coward. Hmm. It's four times resisted, though. So if she can do that, then I should probably do the same, actually. Oh, we don't stomach that at all. We don't stomach that at all. Damn. So that's what we do now. We're Dynamaxing right in front of me. I mean, I clearly lose. There is nothing I can do. <laughs> the coward's way. Oh, that's annoying. That is actually real annoying. <laughs> However, she haven't like boosted her special attack or anything like that. So, the way I see it, I have a small chance of maybe doing something here. But it's going to be on the expense of Polyrath. Let's see, remaining Pokemon. Yeah, I can't beat her anyway. Do I want to be able to... E... You know what, hopefully I can stomach one of these hits. I mean, probably not, but at this point I'll take anything. Here comes the Max Airstream. Here we go! Oh no. <laughs> so that means that the Togekiss... Uh, is over, but while the Dynamax is over, um, there is one one big issue, and that is I will not be able to outspeed. So I'm forced to take a hit or two or three, more likely more than that. But I'm gonna go everything in my power on that Max Geisha, then sack here across. <laughs> If I can manage to take that ear slash, which I most likely will not. Ah, oh, Dynamax. Such a balanced tool to the Protois. <laughs> and no matter what really happens, I don't believe I can win anyway. It has a lot to do with the remaining Pokemon that it's toxic packs. But at least I will just try to push through here. If I can take this ear slash and if I don't get flinched. Dazzling Gleam. I think that's better. No flinch means I can actually get my Max Geisha. <sighs> Come on, buddy. You gotta kill on this. Yeah! The game is not over. Ish. <laughs> but like I said here, Toxapex is the bane of my existence.
All right, here comes some type of a Jenning tool. <laughs> All right, she gets at least, she gives me a chance to actually boost myself, which is awesome. With Max Knuckle, I'm getting myself a plus one and hopefully knock it out. I have a liquidation that is beyond power. Or Max Geisha, that is. Question is, will the rain stop or do they have only one more turn of rain? Here come Pikus, which absolutely and will be able to potentially stall me out. But I'll try to maximize everything that I can do. This is probably one of the roughest situations I've ever been in. Yeah, don't recover, please. Haze. You coward. Not really. That's probably the right play. Um, oh, and my reign is over. My reign is over. But I do apparently have one more turn. I need a spadef drop though. I really do. Yeah, there it is. There is the recover. And rain stopped. Well, the bigger question is, do I want to um, timer stall her? Which I very likely could do. Or do I just kind of chill here? I need, if I can get anything, I'll probably go for that freeze, even though she could be carrying... Uh, Nice. <laughs> so we saw Haze, Recover, Toxic. Usually these guys carry Scald after all. So... Dorgas Lariat is possibly my strongest move. If you have Scald, which they usually do, this won't necessarily matter at all. Hmm. I can actually try and go for a knockoff here. So, what do you do when you don't carry Earthquake on your team and are knowingly knowing that it, it always could be <laughs> this shit always happens to me? Um, I actually was debating this as I was creating the team that, you know, what if I face a Toxapex? What happens? Can I let Emolga cover all of that? Uh, and the question is no. <laughs> I cannot, but um, I mean, I'm doing everything I can now. I'm waiting for it to kind of fall out, and there's a 10% chance of that happening. So um, I'm betting on that 10% to work for me, and I never felt dirtier ever. All right, two more hits. Two more hits. Yes! Yes! That's what you get! That's what you get when you're trying to turn on Max on me! Oh, and there's a crit. That could have been worked long ago, buddy. Long ago. Okay. My Coco. GG. What a, what a cool game, though. What a unsurprising turn of events. I was like, yeah, Toekis gets it. The, the air slash or whatever, gonna flinch me through. Polaroid won't work. And then she dazzling gleamed, allow me to come back in the game. And I brought it back. Thanks to Hacks. Like a pro. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. And have a great day, everyone. Bye.